Good morning, everyone. I hope everybody's having a blessed day today. We, of course, are having rain again. Um, I'd say over the last month, we probably haven't had more than two or three sunshiny days. And if it isn't raining, it's overcast, and we all know why that is, but... Anyway, we're just praying for a nice, pretty, sunshiny day soon, real soon. I've got to get some vegetable containers ready for planting seedlings and whatnot. And it's kind of hard to do in the rain. But anyway, we'll be back in Leviticus. And we're doing chapter... 21 and 22, and we're almost done with the book of Leviticus. So here we go, chapter 21. And the Lord said unto Moses, Speak unto the priests, the sons of Aaron, and say unto them, There shall none be defiled for the dead among his people, but for his kin that is near unto him, that is, for his mother, and for his father, and for his son, and for his daughter, and for his brother, and for his sister a virgin, that is nigh unto him, which have had no husband, for her may he be defiled. But he shall not defile himself, being a chief man among his people, to profane himself. They shall not make baldness upon their head, neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard, nor make any cuttings in their flesh. They shall be holy unto their God, and not profane the name of their God, for the offerings of the Lord made by fire, and the bread of their God they do offer, therefore they shall be holy. They shall not take a wife that is a whore, or profane, neither shall they take a woman put away from her husband, for he is holy unto his God. Thou shalt sanctify him, therefore, for he offereth the bread of thy God. He shall be holy unto thee, for I, the Lord, which sanctify you, am holy. And the daughter of any priest, if she profane herself by playing the whore, she profaneth her father, she shall be burnt with fire. And he that is high priest among his brethren, upon whose head the anointing oil was poured, and that is consecrated to put on the garments, shall not uncover his head nor rend his clothes. Neither shall he go in to any dead body, nor defile himself for his father or for his mother. Neither shall he go out of the sanctuary, nor profane the sanctuary of his God. For the crown of the anointing oil of his God is upon him. I am the Lord. And he shall take a wife in her virginity, a widow, or a divorced woman, or profane, or an harlot. These shall he not take but he shall take a virgin of his own people to wife. Neither shall he profane his seed among his people, for I, the Lord, do sanctify him. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron, saying, Whosoever he be of thy seed in their generations, that hath any blemish, let him not approach to offer the bread of his God. For whatsoever man he be that hath a blemish, he shall not approach, a blind man or a lame, or he that hath a flat nose, or anything superfluous, or a man that is broken-footed, or broken-handed, or crook-backed, or a dwarf, or that hath a blemish in his eye, or be scurvy, or scabbed, or hath his stones broken. No man that hath a blemish of the seed of Aaron, the priest, shall come nigh to offer the offerings of the Lord made by fire. He hath a blemish. He shall not come nigh to offer the bread of his God. He shall eat the bread of his God, both of the most holy and of the holy. Only he shall not go unto the veil, nor come nigh unto the altar, because he hath a blemish. That he profane not my sanctuaries, for I, the Lord, do sanctify them. And Moses told it unto Aaron, and to his sons, and unto all the children of Israel. Chapter 22 and the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron and to his sons, that they separate themselves from the holy things of the children of Israel, 
and that they profane not my holy name in those things which they hollow unto me. I am the Lord. Say unto them, Whosoever he be of all your seed among your generations that goeth unto the holy things which the children of Israel hallow unto the Lord, having his uncleanness upon him, that soul shall be cut off from my presence. I am the Lord. What man soever of the seed of Aaron is a leper, or hath a running issue, he shall not eat of the holy things until he be clean. And whoso toucheth anything that is unclean by the dead, or a man whose seed goeth from him, or whosoever toucheth any creeping thing, whereby he may be made unclean, or a man of whom he may take uncleanness, whatsoever uncleanness he hath. The soul which hath touched any such shall be unclean until even, and shall not eat of the holy things, unless he wash his flesh with water. And when the sun is down, he shall be clean, and shall afterward eat of the holy things, because it is his food. That which dieth of itself, or is torn with beast, he shall not eat to defile himself therewith. I am the Lord. They shall therefore keep mine ordinance, lest they bear sin for it and die. Therefore, if they profane it, I, the Lord, do sanctify them. Thou shalt no stranger eat of the holy thing. A sojourner of the priest or an hired servant shall not eat of the holy thing. But if the priest buy any soul with his money, he shall eat of it. And he that is born in his house, they shall eat of his meat. If the priest's daughter also be married unto a stranger, she may not eat of an offering of the holy things. But if the priest's daughter be a widow, or divorced, and have no child, and is returned unto her father's house, as in her youth, she shall eat of her father's meat. But there shall no stranger eat thereof. And if a man eat of the holy thing unwittingly, then he shall put the fifth part thereof unto it, and shall give it unto the priest with the holy thing. And they shall not profane the holy things of the children of Israel, which they offer unto the Lord, or suffer them to bear the iniquity of trespass when they eat their holy things, for I, the Lord, do sanctify them. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron, and to his sons, and unto all the children of Israel, and say unto them, Whatsoever he be of the house of Israel, or of the strangers in Israel, that will offer his oblation for all his vows and for all his free will offerings, which they will offer unto the Lord for a burnt offering, ye shall offer at your own, will a male without blemish of the beeves, of the sheep, or of the goats. But whatsoever hath a blemish, that shall ye not offer, for it shall not be acceptable for you. And whosoever offereth a sacrifice of peace offerings unto the Lord to accomplish his vow, or a free will offering in beeves or sheep, it shall be perfect to be accepted. There shall be no blemish therein, blind or broken or maimed, or having a wen or scurvy or scab. Ye shall not offer these unto the Lord, nor make an offering by fire of them upon the altar unto the Lord either a bullock or a lamb that hath anything superfluous or lacking in his parts, that mayest thou offer for a free will offering, but for a vow it shall not be accepted. Ye shall not offer unto the Lord that which is bruised or crushed or broken or cut, neither shall ye make any offering thereof in your land. Neither from a stranger's hand shall ye offer the bread of your God of any of these, because their corruption is in them, and blemishes be in them, they shall not be accepted for you. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, When a bullock or a sheep or a goat is brought forth, then it shall be seven days under the dam, and from the eighth day, and thenceforth, it shall be accepted for an offering made by fire unto the Lord. And whether it be cow or ewe, ye shall not kill it and her young both in one day. And when ye will offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving unto the Lord, offer it at your own will. On the same day it shall be eaten up. Ye shall leave none of it until the morrow. I am the Lord. Therefore shall ye keep my commandments and do them. I am the Lord. 
Neither shall ye profane my holy name, but I will be hallowed among the children of Israel. I am the Lord which hallow you. That brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God. I am the Lord. And that will do it for the two chapters today. I hope everyone has a very blessed day. Take care in these times of tribulation. I know it's hard on some folks. I know folks are scared or tense or, or upset not knowing what's going on. The Lord's going to take care of us. There's no doubt in my mind. Those true believers are going to be okay through all of this, one way or another. God's got us in the palm of his hand. You know, he knows every hair on our head, and he will take care of us. So, everyone have a great day. Be blessed, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for listening. Be kind to one another.